all right. When you watch today's episode, there's a very good chance you'll just sit there with your jaw on the floor thinking, wait, is this really happening right now? Because honestly, in the world of technology, we've reached a point where almost anything feels possible. Things that only 10 years ago lived on TV screens, in sci-fi movies, or inside wild imagination are now stepping straight into the real world. And yes, today we're talking about something people have joked about for decades but never truly believed would arrive this soon. A real car that can actually fly. Now let's be honest for a second. We've all heard about flying cars for years. Every few years, a flashy concept shows up, a futuristic render gets shared online, everyone gets excited, and then, nothing. Most of those so-called flying cars never made it past a prototype, a demo video, or a marketing stunt. They looked cool, but they were never practical, never legal, and never something you could actually imagine using in everyday life. But this time, things feel very different. Because the ALF Model A isn't just another idea or concept. It's real, it's flying, and it's the only flying car that's legally approved to drive on public roads and take off vertically. Think about that for a moment. You're stuck in traffic in a crowded city. Cars are barely moving. Everyone's frustrated. And instead of sitting there wasting time, you press a button, switch to flight mode, lift straight up, and simply fly over the congestion. No deters, no gridlock, no stress. And let's be real, when that happens, every single person below is going to stop and stare. It sounds like something straight out of a movie, but this is no longer science fiction. This is happening now. And the excitement doesn't stop with the idea alone. The design, the engineering, and the performance of this flying car are just as fascinating as the concept itself. Of course, flying cars bring serious debates with them, especially when it comes to safety. The safety standards for something that flies over people and buildings are far higher than for a normal car. So the big questions naturally come up. How does this thing actually work? How safe is it really? Can it truly help solve urban traffic problems? And of course, how much does it cost? Let's get into it, because the answers are honestly surprising. The truth is, the road to a real, practical flying car has been brutal. Over the years, hundreds of companies and startups tried to build one, and most of them failed. The challenges were simply too big. Engineering, safety, regulations, cost, public acceptance, all of it stacked against them. A few flying cars did manage to get airborne, but sightings were extremely rare. Most couldn't meet strict safety rules or aviation licensing requirements. Even Elon Musk once hinted that Tesla might build a flying car someday, but that idea never turned into reality. So yeah, hearing about a flying car today isn't shocking by itself. What is shocking is hearing about one that's actually licensed and legally allowed to operate. That's exactly why the ALF Model A is getting so much attention right now. This isn't a promise for the far future. This is happening in real time. Flying cars are becoming real and according to industry timelines, we could start seeing them in much larger numbers as early as 2026. Alf Aeronautics is already building more vehicles right now to deliver to customers. And here's the part that really makes people pause. It's fully electric. No gas engine. No jet fuel. The company even claims their flying car uses less energy than a Tesla or most other electric vehicles. Yeah. That sounds almost impossible at first, but the way they've designed it actually makes that claim very interesting. Alf Aeronautics is an advanced technology company based in San Mateo, California, and they've been working on flying cars for nearly a decade. Their mission is simple but ambitious, build sustainable, next-generation transportation to tackle the growing traffic problems in major cities. The Alf Model A is their breakthrough. A flying car that can take off vertically and is legally approved to drive on public roads. This vehicle represents ALF's vision of cleaner, smarter urban mobility. Because it runs entirely on electric power, it's quieter, more efficient, and produces far less environmental impact than traditional gas-powered vehicles. Now let's talk about the design, because this is where things get seriously interesting. The ALF Model A looks futuristic but not in a ridiculous or impractical way. 
It blends the shape of a traditional car with the structure of a vertical takeoff aircraft. It's roughly the size of a large sedan and weighs about 850 pounds, which is extremely light compared to most electric cars today. That low weight is a huge advantage, especially for flight. One of the most impressive parts is the body itself. The vehicle uses a carbon fiber mesh structure that's roughly 5 meters long and 2 meters wide. Instead of blocking air like a normal car, this mesh design allows air to flow through the vehicle during flight. That reduces air resistance, cuts down overall weight, and creates space for eight powerful rotors mounted inside the body. These rotors are hidden within the structure, which keeps the design clean, safer for pedestrians, and more practical for road use. No exposed propellers spinning next to cars or people. This design allows the Model A to take off and land vertically, similar to a multi-rotor aircraft, but without the usual dangers and noise. Inside the cabin, the vehicle uses a special gimbal system that keeps the passenger compartment level even when the rest of the vehicle shifts position during flight. The ALF Model A is also the first flying car to use an aileron-based control system for aerial movement. And because there are no external rotors, the vehicle stays quieter, safer, and more space efficient. Exactly what crowded cities desperately need. One of the standout features of the ALF Model A is its ability to transition from vertical flight to forward horizontal flight. To do this, the entire body of the vehicle rotates 90 degrees. When that happens, one side of the body becomes the upper wing, and the opposite side becomes the lower wing. This clever design allows the vehicle to move freely in three-dimensional space without relying on traditional airplane wings. If that sounds confusing, here's a simple way to picture it. Imagine your hand is the ALF Model A. When you're driving, your hand is flat, fingers pointing forward. When the car switches to flight mode, you rotate your hand so your thumb points up. Now your palm is facing the airflow. That's essentially how the vehicle changes its orientation to fly forward. Inside, the cabin is optimized for real-world use. It can carry up to two people. The space isn't huge, but it's clean, modern, and comfortable. The cockpit features clear bubble-style windows that give passengers a wide, unobstructed view in all directions. That matters a lot when you're moving through the air instead of just driving down a road. The outer shell is made from a lightweight but extremely durable material designed to handle external forces during operation. It can absorb minor impacts without compromising flight performance. So how does it work on the road? Because before this thing ever leaves the ground, it still has to behave like a real car. In driving mode, the Model A uses four electric motors, one mounted at each wheel. This setup allows it to function like a four-wheel drive electric car and remain fully legal for road use. The wheels are very slim, almost like bicycle tires, which helps keep weight down. The driving range is about 200 miles, with a top speed of roughly 25 miles per hour. Clearly, this vehicle is built for urban environments, not highways. Even in car mode, safety isn't ignored. The Model A includes responsive brakes, obstacle detection sensors, and a stability system designed to reduce vibration and maintain balance on uneven roads. This is especially important because a flying car still needs to feel stable and predictable when it's driving like a normal vehicle. The main downside here is comfort and space. It's not a family car. But the good news is it fits into existing city parking systems and road infrastructure. And for flight, it only requires a basic drone-style pilot license. Quick reminder right here. If you're enjoying this deep dive into future transportation and you want to stay ahead of everyone else, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next on Future Drive Hub. Now let's talk about flight mode, because this is where things really get wild. Earlier this year, ALF released footage showing the vehicle lifting off and hopping over another car on a public street in California. Another video shows it taking off vertically, climbing about 20 to 30 feet, then moving forward like something out of a sci-fi movie. At first glance, it almost looks fake. Like one of those AI-generated videos people post online. But according to ALF, this is the first real video in history of a car driving on a road and then taking off vertically without tricks or cables.
When it's time to fly, eight powerful rotors surrounding the passenger compartment lift the vehicle straight up. The mesh body allows air to pass through, helping generate lift while keeping weight low. The Model A doesn't need a runway or a helipad. It can take off directly from the ground. That alone is a massive breakthrough for urban use. In flight mode, the top speed is around 110 miles per hour, with a range of about 110 miles. That makes it perfect for short regional trips. According to the founders, this could cut commute times in half by flying over traffic instead of sitting in it. Safety is taken very seriously. The Model A uses distributed electric propulsion, meaning systems are spread out so one failure doesn't bring everything down. It has multiple layers of redundancy, real-time monitoring, obstacle detection, automatic collision avoidance, glide landing capability, and even a full vehicle parachute for emergencies. The payload capacity is currently around 200 pounds, including passenger and luggage. Yes, that's limited, and the company admits early versions are mainly for single occupants. A two-seat version is already in development. Because it's classified as an ultralight aircraft, it doesn't require full FA certification, but there are limits. Daytime flights only, no flying over dense city centers, and traditional aircraft always have priority. ALF has received a special airworthiness certificate for testing. Pre-orders opened in 2022, and over 3,300 reservations have already been placed. The price is expected to be around $300,000. Production is planned to start soon, with early deliveries expected next year, depending on regulations and testing. Looking ahead, ALF is also developing a hydrogen fuel cell version called the Model Z with a range of up to 400 miles and capacity for four to six passengers. The target price is around $35,000, but it won't arrive until around 2035. ALF has also signed production agreements with aerospace suppliers that work with Boeing and Airbus, which is a huge step towards scaling up. Of course, challenges remain. Weather, safety, regulations, and cost are all major hurdles. Governments will need new laws, new airspace rules, and new licensing systems. Prices need to come down for mass adoption. Another major player is Klein Vision with its aircar. Based in Slovakia, it transforms from a car into an airplane in about three minutes. It drives at highway speeds, flies up to 170 miles per hour, and has a range of about 370 miles. It's powered by a gasoline engine and flies like a traditional aircraft. You need a driver's license and a pilot's license to operate it. Both ALF Aeronautics and Klein Vision are pushing transportation into a new era. Flying cars are no longer a joke or a dream. They're real, they're flying, and they're getting closer every year. So here's the big question. If you had access to a flying car, would you use it? And do you think flying cars will become common in our cities within the next 10 years? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and welcome to the future with Future Drive Hub.